The activities of the President of the European Commission started last week with the visit on Monday of Lucas Papademos. José Manuel Barroso congratulated the newly appointed Greek Prime Minister. He stressed that the agreement to form a national unity government, backed by a broad political consensus, was a vital signal of the need for political stability in Greece at this crucial time. President Barroso said that the political determination and resolve were now more important than ever to enable Greece to stay the course towards economic reform and renewal. He also reiterated the Commission's commitment to helping Greece in resolving its debt crisis. In the evening, ahead of the adoption of the annual growth survey, the economic priorities for the coming year, President Barroso met Swedish Prime Minister Fredrik Reinfeldt. The two leaders talked about the economic situation in Europe and the preparation of the forthcoming European Council on the 9th of December. They also discussed the Commission's proposals to strengthen economic governance in the euro area using the existing treaties and, where necessary, through treaty change. On Tuesday, President Barroso received the Minister-President of Hessen, Volker Bouffier. They mainly discussed the current sovereign debt crisis and the need for continued and determined action to tackle it, including through deeper integration and greater discipline. Later on, the President of the European Commission received the visit of the new Italian Prime Minister Mario Monti, visiting the European institutions a few days after his appointment. Italy is determined to tackle its enormous challenges once and for all, said President Barroso at a press conference after the meeting. He pointed out that the Italian government's program correctly addresses the challenges faced by Italy. Huge, but surmountable challenges. Its success will depend on three elements. The determination to strictly implement the measures, the ability to achieve and maintain the large primary surplus that will put high government debt on a steadily declining path, and finally, determination to increase the country's growth potential by tackling the deep-rooted structural weaknesses. I am confident that Italy will pass this difficult test. This is what citizens, the markets, the European Union, and also our international partners expect and hope for. I am absolutely sure that we will continue to benefit from the full collaboration of the Italian authorities now under the leadership of Prime Minister Mario Monti. I know he's a very committed, competent, experienced politician, a very committed Italian and European. He has my full confidence and high personal esteem. Mario Monti has authority to guide Italy through this difficult moment with a sense of urgency and uh, direction. Thanks very much for your questions. On Wednesday, the European Commission adopted a new set of measures enabling new action for growth, governance and stability in the euro area and in the EU as a whole. The adopted package contains four elements. The 2012 annual growth survey setting out the economic priorities for the coming year, two regulations to tighten economic and budgetary surveillance in the euro area, and a green paper on stability bonds. Implemented in the right way, the joint issuance of debt in the euro area could bring tremendous benefits. It could lead to greater financial integration and to the creation of a much larger and more liquid bond market, comparable to that which exists for the United States Treasuries. With the adoption of this package, the European Commission is accelerating its efforts for economic renewal, with moves to further strengthen euro area governance, safeguard future financial stability and boost growth and employment. On the same day, José Manuel Barroso received the president of the Ivory Coast, Alassane Ouattara. At a joint press conference, President Barroso announced support for the country's forthcoming elections, as well as the willingness to help social and economic recovery. They witnessed the formal signature of a 125 million euro package to improve the lives of the Ivorian population, specifically supporting the health service, professional training, transport, civil society and governance.